Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it's good to have you. Well today I'm going to be doing my first stitch on my Genomi 550 embroidery machine. So if you'd like to see my first stitch, stay tuned. Okay, before I start, if you hear some wind, we are having a storm in London at the moment, so uh, please try and ignore any uh, whistling sounds that you might hear in the background. It's just a uh, storm Eunice raging in London today. Anyway, so here is my first um, stitch that I'm going to be doing in my Janome uh, 550 embroidery machine. I've already hooped my um, stabiliser, this is cutaway stabiliser and I'm using the smallest of my hoops which is the 5.5 by 5.5 uh, embroidery hoop. So um, I've got some fleece as well, so I'm going to be using this fleece material. I'm actually going to be doing an um, applique which I... Um, digitized myself so that's what i'm going to be doing so i've got some uh felt uh material here it's quite thick and that's why i didn't um uh hoop it with my stabilizer i'm just going to try and float it so already i've got um my middle line already marked out with a uh, fabric pen and i'm just going to match that up with my template like that and do my best to try and uh, center it in the middle of my hoop okay give it a press down and then remove it okay I'm going to pin this down with just pins just so it doesn't move while it's in the machine so I'm going to do my best not to shift it and I'm doing it right at the edge so there's no kind of like risk of the um, needle hitting it try and do it without pricking my finger almost there we go so one there and one on this side the stabilizer is quite taut so I'm finding it really tricky to kind of get the pin through Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so um, I've managed to pin it off. It was just a bit awkward with the way that I had the camera. So that's all pinned and down. Okay, I've got this really pretty fabric which I'm going to be using as my, um, as my applique, which I'm going to be putting on the top. I haven't decided which orientation I'm going to have it, but um, yeah. I'll sort that out in a little bit. Okay, so we are at the machine and I've already plugged in my flash drive. So I need to find my design, go into file, my USB EMBF, and there is my uh, design. So when I press that, it says, uh, keep hands clear from hoop. I can say OK. Well, it sets itself up. OK, and it's confirming that it is the 5.5 by 5.5 uh, inch hoop. 
which is 140 millimeters, which I prefer actually. I prefer uh, working in millimeters, centimeters, and meters than inches, but there you go. Press OK, and I can now uh, hoop, attach my hoop to the machine. So lifting up that presser foot to get the hoop under. That oh, was so stormy guys. Right, that's attached. Brilliant. So I'm just going to actually check and just trace my design and my hoop just so I know for sure that I'm not going to hit any of the pins that I've attached to my hoop. So to do that, I'll be going to the trace and I'll be watching my um, where my, uh, my needle's going when I do that. So if I hit trace, so we're in the clear on the left, in the clear on the top, in the clear on the right, and in the clear at the bottom. Okay, and it's actually going back in the middle. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so it's ready to sew. I'm just going to put down my presser foot. And I'm going to hold this piece of thread because I don't want it getting caught in there. Now the first stitch that it's going to do is going to be a placement stitch so I know where to add my um, applique material. And when I digitized it, I actually did three different colors so I know when to add each element. I'm leaving my um, thread pink and uh, I won't be changing it because I don't need to, basically. So that's why, um, even though we can see I've got three different uh, colors on my design, um, I will not be changing any of those because I don't need to. They're just for my reference. So we are ready to sew. So I'm going to hit uh, start and Okay, so that is my placement stitch. So I'm going to remove my uh, hoop. stands for anyway so that is my um, placement stitch so I'm going to decide which bit of the fabric I would like to have down mm. I really like that part to be in it really like this this part of the design of the fabric so and I like this part yep so 
I'm just going to put it down like that. I'm not going to pin it. And I'm going to put it back inside the machine. And try not to disturb it while I do that. So raising the presser foot up so I can get it in. to go I now need to do the uh, cut in my actual material so I'm going to unhook this guy okay and that's attached and I'm going to go to the table and uh, snip these bits off So I am now going to uh, snip off this material, but before I do that, I'm going to remove these pins. Remove these. Oops, just dropped that on the floor. I'll pick that up in a minute. And, oh, guys, do you like my uh, pin cushion? It's actually a, a chair. I created it myself because I make miniature furniture as well. Okay, anyway, I digress. So I need to now cut this fabric very carefully without uh, snipping the stitches, okay, really carefully, as close to the stitch as I can, which is tricky in front of the camera. So let's try and it would help if I was to use my actual uh, embroidery scissors, but I can't find them at the moment. So I'm gonna cut this off camera and I will be back. Okay, so I have cut out my um, fabric. It was a bit of a nightmare to, to cut. Even though this fabric is really pretty, it just kind of frays around the edges. So I had to use a lint roller to pick up little bits of thread. But um, it would help if I had a proper pair of uh, applique scissors uh, handy. So note to self, make sure you've got everything you need before you uh, start a project. Anyway, so my um, I'm back in now. So press a foot down and we're just going to do the final stitch, which is going to be the satin stitch around the letter E. So we are good to go. So let's press go.
so we are done 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 And here it is, my first uh, stitch up. I think it looks quite nice. I mean, it's not perfect. We have, you know, some of the fabric sticking out right there, which isn't very nice. But I would say for a first uh, try, that's quite good. Um, I'll get rid of these marks. It's, it, um, it vanishes with uh, heat, so I'll just iron those. Okay, we are back at the table where I am now going to unhook this. So just loosen the sides, loosen it a bit more. And I can now uh, cut away this cutaway uh, stabilizer. So, again, haven't got my scissors, so let me go grab those. So, I've got my scissors here, and I'm just gonna cut away as much as I can. I mean, it doesn't really matter what it looks like on the back because it's not going on a garment or anything like that so I can just roughly cut away the excess without making too much of a fuss of it even though I am making a fuss of it mm. I don't like that jagged edge there that I've done there we go. So that is that. Okay, I am going to hit this with um, an iron to get rid of these, and uh, we'll come back and see the final uh, look of how it's going to uh, be displayed. And this is it guys, this is my first uh, stitch project on my Janome, oh my goodness, uh, that's the wind, Eunice is trying to uh, break the whole of the UK today, mm, I hope I make it. Right, so guys, this is my first stitch using my Janome 550 embroidery machine. And I've decided to um, display it in this frame, okay? Um, the glare is from the ring light. Anyway, that's how I'm choosing to display it. So join me for some more videos on my channel um, where you'll be seeing some more embroidery. Uh, you can see some sublimation, some HTV, some permanent vinyl. And um, check out my TikTok, guys. It's Elizard Design Studio. Or you can check out my Instagram, which is also Elizabeth Design Studio. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like. If you that's if you like the video, please don't forget to like. And if you want to as well, you can press the subscribe button, which I think I think I've got it right. It's on this side. I hope it's not. On that side but yeah I think it's on this side so please press that subscribe button um, and click the small bell so you don't miss any uploads from me okay and take care and don't have a good day have an amazing day see you soon